Hi, good morning and welcome to the ZP Developer Zone webinar. So we like to do this webinar um, once a week and it's just answering technical questions that come in during the week. So today is the 15th of September 2024 and the questions this week, um, I've actually been answering a lot of questions just on the email, but um, the questions this week are sensors for alcohol. Somebody wants to do um, the following of an alcohol, um, I want to say fermentation. Um, but I also I realized that actually somebody else was asking about fructose as well. So um, I could also answer that at the same time as well. And secondly, just about peak adapters uh, for organoelectrochemical methods. So um, at ZP, we actually have a bit of a background in electro-organic chemistry. Um, and I'll just talk about a few technologies for um, that as well. Just to say we have some upcoming webinars, um, 24th of September. If you're interested in... Um, commercialization of electrochemical assays then comes to that on the 24th of September. If you're interested in wearable biosensors, things like CGM, continuous glucose monitoring and lactate and potassium etc, then or cortisol, then please come to that on the 1st of October. Um, and if you're interested and if any links pop up, I'll put them underneath the video. And if you're in academia and interested in translating your science into products and commercializing it, then please come or even just creating a stronger impact then please come to our webinar on the 25th of September. Um, with that said, question number one today is, uh, we do have the Sensi All platform. So if I just go here, um, we do have this particular platform. Um, it works um, in conjunction with um, my phone. Um, it's just because the Sensi All system um, makes a Bluetooth connection with the phone. We can run all sorts of assays. Um, it can be kind of electrochemical assays in terms of amperometry, open circuit potentiometry, electrochemical impedance spectroscopy, linear sweep voltammetry, cycle voltammetry, square wave voltammetry. But because we have a data pipe in this system, we can actually then convert raw signals into chili, ginger, pH, nitrates, total antioxidative capacity, glucose, potassium, testosterone. Um, for example, in fact, there's lots more and maybe I'll, and that's why I'm going to now talk about, um, in fact, I'll talk about the others now. So let me just change back to screen here. Um, so we do have a whole series of um, biosensors at Zimmer Peacock. We might have about 40, at least those ones on the website. And alcohol is, um, or ethanol, I should say, really, is um, one of those um, sensors. So it's definitely something we have. And what we can do is, the, if these people are so interested, it's the same for the people with fructose as well, if they're so interested, um, we can actually um, create what's called a QR code for it and then basically it becomes part of the system. So I say here, I'll do a bit of a demo. So what I'll do is I will just change um, screens for a second. Um, I'm just gonna take 50 microliters um, of sample and just put it onto um, the sensor. What I'll then do is I'm just going to um, give it a name. and essentially off it goes. So it's very quick to be able to do either electrochemical methods or um, assays, let's say this way as well. The reason I bring up the word electrochemical is because um, there's a little branch of this kind of um, area that we're interested in at ZB called electro-organic synthesis or, electro or, or you can do also do characterization of organic molecules. And this, the small volumes that we can use on these screen printed electrodes is really beneficial to that community because in fact, they don't have a lot of volume. So what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to quickly change my um, screen over. So let me just go to here. And that test actually all goes then to the cloud, which I've forgotten how to show. Yeah, so here it is, in fact, um, test three. So the data actually automatically goes to the cloud once that's loaded. Um, so I should sort of, I didn't really describe it, but in fact, what it does is um, it... Um, how do I describe it? I should describe it by saying, in fact, there we go, I've got the numbers here. So the numbers are on my phone. Um, I'm just gonna read them out. I might even change that screen image so you can see it, but it's about 7,000 um, Scoville heat units um, in this particular case. But you can see that the actual cyclovoltammetry is all gone to the um, cloud. I can do, uh, there's something, I, I use this term um, a little bit loosely, but data pipe. We can actually process this data in this cloud system and you can program this for yourself. So we can actually turn signals into things like um, concentrations. In fact, what I'll just do is I'm just going to um, turn that off for a second. I will um, go and turn this off. So we do have something in the, in the in, up here called the data pipe. 
Um, if I just go into tools, I can see the data pipe here where it does things like pre-processing, analysis, um, and then it actually fits um, the peak height in this particular case to a, um, to a calibration curve. So this really helps to raise science above its normal sort of technology readiness level number three, which is kind of proof of principle in a lab, and actually turn it into something much more meaningful, um, which is a, like say an analyte concentration. Um, even though we're doing, you know, science like square wave, sorry, not square wave voltammetry, even though we are doing science like um, cyclic voltammetry in this particular case, we can actually then convert it into a, uh, let's say a real number. I said I'd also change my screen here. So let me just go to, um, yeah, here we are. So you can see the result is actually on my phone and that same, so that result is actually also saved in the cloud as well. So a very powerful system. Um, no PCs involved, no menus involved. When I say menus, those sort of software menus, very small samples, very rapid to do. And as I say, um, both result on the um, smart device and actually saved in the cloud as well. So what I'll do is just go back to my other screen there. Right, so that was a quick demonstration. So if you do want to do alcohol, we can do alcohol and we can do fructose, for example, in a very similar um, manner. Question number two. Um, I've got some other technology in front of me. Um, in fact, what I will just do is, well, what I'll first of all describe is what I'm showing here, which is the idea that, in fact, there are people who want to do um, organic um, analysis um, on screen printed electrodes. Sometimes these solvents can be quite um, aggressive that they want to use. And um, so we do have these kind of peak fittings um, that allow, and I'll, when I say that, I'm just gonna um, slightly change my screen for a second. In fact, I've got a, a similar device just in front of me here now, um, where in fact, I'll just take that off there. So the screen printed electrode is actually there, but in order to, and this one is actually a flow cell version, um, we can actually screw these um, connectors. Um, I've got two of these and they kind of go down like that and then they'll hold, um, in this particular case, a flow cell on top of the screen printed electrode. The one I'm showing here is actually a, um, I'd call it more like a batch um, system where in fact you've got a hole here, but the hole is, is essentially the volume on which the um, material is held or held within. So you can have very small, essentially micro reactions um, in this kind of um, setup. So yeah, here we go here. What's nice about this this as well is that, um, see what people sometimes don't realize in, in organic synthesis and electro-organic analysis is they don't need an awful lot of sample in fact, because really they're just gonna put it on an HPLC or an LCMS, which are very um, sensitive machines anyway. So you can just put like a sort of small amount of material on there on these screen printed electrodes and you can do your synthesis or your analysis accordingly. As I say, um, you, with, even with synthesis, I mean synthesis, you'll often actually just, you know, you, you could really just do a very small micro reaction, see if it worked by actually putting on the HPLC columns. So you don't need an awful lot of uh, material in order to do that. So questions today, I just want to kind of highlight that the Sense It All platform, which I've got in front of me, will definitely do um, fructose and alcohol, and they were particularly asking about alcohol. And also at ZP, if you do have questions around um, adapters, peak adapters for electro-organic electro -organic chemical methods, or organo-electrochemical methods, I should say, then please don't hesitate to reach out to us. So if you've got any questions, um, thanks very much. Okay, take care.